On the home page of our website, we see a shopping cart icon along with the total price, some categories, and some products. And we don't really know where those are coming from, but we suspect it may be coming from a plugin. To help us determine which plugin this is coming from, we're going to install a plugin called Health Check and Troubleshooting. So we'll search for this at the top right. Click on Install Now. And then once that's installed, we'll click on Activate. Once the plugin is activated, you can go to Tools and Site Health in order to open up the options. From there, click on Troubleshooting at the top. Then select Enable Troubleshooting Mode. This won't affect the live site, only how the site appears to administrators and other users on the site. So now, if we view the site again, we'll see that with all of the plugins deactivated in troubleshooting mode, there is no shopping cart icon or products on the home page. From this point, we can go back to the plugins page and we can see all of the plugins that have been disabled in troubleshooting mode. You'll see an option for enable while troubleshooting. So let's go ahead and enable Akismet. Once we enable Akismet, we can take a look at the site again to see if the changes have returned. They haven't, so I suspect that Akismet is not the cause for the shopping cart icon. We'll try the same with AMP. Still no shopping cart or products. It can help to take a look at the description for each of the plugins. In this case, we have WooCommerce installed. It looks like that may be our best bet. So let's go ahead and enable that while troubleshooting. Now we can take a look at the site, and there we go. There's a shopping cart, our categories, and our products. It looks like it's safe to say that WooCommerce is the cause for the shopping cart category and products that we're seeing on the homepage. From here, we can disable the troubleshooting mode altogether to return the site to how it was. Now, let's go ahead and scroll down to WooCommerce and deactivate the plugin. This will deactivate it for the entire site, all visitors, not just the editors. And we can see that achieved the same result.